All right, welcome back, everybody, to another recording session of Dawn Guard. That's right, we're going to jump right back into it. Yesterday went pretty well. We got through four of the uh, quests. It might have taken a little bit longer than it should have, but oh well. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get right back into this starting right now. So, let's load up our last save, which will be right here. And while we're waiting, let me just fix that up. That should be good. getting along with each one. Alright, so this mission is going to be called Prophet. And when I returned to Fort Dawnguard, Isran told me that he needed to speak to me and asked me to follow him. So I'm getting used to. He's right up there. Um this place is still kinda of full of cobwebs and everything, but it's starting to get more populated, so we're getting stronger here. So here we are. Ah, it's around I guess. This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Demalo Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Skull that was buried with me. The reason I had it and why I was down there. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and he just kind of lost himself in it. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. And vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. All right, so a plot thickens. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Do you actually believe any of that? Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it? You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Well, 
The moth priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No. And I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind. And I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who made a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd been to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. I mean, as much as anyone. Not a lot. You'd figure a couple hundred years locked away with one would have given me some insights, but no. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. I guess so. Alright, um, a lot of tedious questions there. So, let's move out then. They want us to talk to possibly, okay, so we can either talk to a carriage driver, innkeeper, or the College of Winterhold. Um, I haven't been to the college yet, so a uh, carriage or innkeeper is the best option. We'll go to Riften, that's the closest city. So, let's move out. Alright, so, uh, we're back. We got Jacob with us now. I know, about time. You didn't call me yesterday. Yeah, my bad. We just really excited. Like, oh, it's on guard. We gotta start recording right away. Now, was this free, or...? No, this cost $20. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Just for that. Yeah, well... It was 10 bucks. They, yeah. they, they had new features and a new storyline, so... Nah. It seems to be worth it so far. That's so much better on a 50 inch screen. I know, right? No. I'm doing it on a. I think a 30 inch. Yeah. So basically, I have this vampire following me, and we're trying to stop her father from, like, destroying the sun, basically. That's what it's about. Need a ride? It's one of them Imperial scholars, right? Old man with a gray robe. Might be that I have, but I can't say for sure. But I got enough troubles on my mind just trying to scrape by out here. Can't help you, friend. Yeah. I remember better if my pockets weren't so light. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Vampire attack. Now. Yeah, this is like a new thing. Vampires just attack like crazy. Okay, so I have no choice but to pay that guy. Steal their items. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just loot their items. Now, were you married in your last game? Um, just the first character I ever had. The rest I never bothered. Because if you marry the right person, she'll give you the money. Yeah, I did. I had someone who would do that. Alright, so, yeah, vampire attacks are very common now with Dawn Guard. 
I can take you to any of the hold So I gotta go so through this um, whole um, conversation here. Might be that I have. I can't say for sure. But I got enough troubles on my mind just trying to scrape by out here. Oh yes. I remember your mock priest now. He wanted me to take him out to Brackenbridge, but I told him it ain't one of my stops. <laughs> Extortionist. Alright. So he went to Dragon Bridge. Fortunately, I have discovered that already on my previous travels, so... Uh, are you kidding? I hate when this happens. You can't fast travel because the marker's there. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. I never knew that. Um... So we need to find this moth priest guy who knows something about the Elder Scrolls. Which, I guess if you completed the main story, you would already like, Oh, Elder Scroll, I already know what that is. I used it to defeat Alduin. But I didn't do that with this character, because I specifically made him for Dawnguard. So I just leveled him up a bit and then jumped right in it. Me, I don't really do the main stream storyline. Alright, so we just... It says, just need to ask people, so let's try this guy. Welcome, traveler. Mind yourself in our town. A moth priest? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about that. Try asking one of the guards. Alright, um... Let's find a guard, then. Right out here. I don't know how you stand it. Oh, there's a guard right there. They say our big storm cloak murdered the High King. With his voice. He shouted him apart. Well, uh, when are you guys gonna get over that? Anyway. Ah. Uh. So that was a moth priest then. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop. Just headed south across the Dragon Bridge. Alright, so let's move out south. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, it keeps rubbing up against me. Oh. Scratch your tummy now. Uh oh, that can't be good. Got an Elder Scrolls book. Vampire. Alright, so they vampires have captured our moth priest. So we need to uh, rescue them now. Okay, so they've taken them um, to a nearby cave right here. Okay. Here's another wiped out uh, caravan thing. I don't know if you ever discovered this, but you probably played more than me. What? Steep stone. Yeah, I've heard of it. Adds 100 carrying weight and makes your armor weightless. Yeah. Only the armor you're wearing, apparently. Right. I misunderstood that the first time, I'm sorry. Yeah, well there's actually perks you can get where if you're wearing a certain type of armor, it no longer weighs anything. You can also get 100 carry weight from uh, being a big time uh, pickpocketer. They have a perk. Okay, so here we go. Here is our vampire cave. 